Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. What a beautiful flower, huh? Tiger lily. A few more here. Beautiful plants. Love plants. Love plants. A little bit upset, though. Yeah, because these aren't supposed to be here for another six weeks. Something's changed, folks, and uh, been noticing it for a while. Going back four years with my sleep patterns. I used to get crazy and uh, I would have to skip a day of sleep to put myself back on track. And it kept getting a little odder and a little odder as time went by and now my, my sleep patterns are just, uh, they're non-existent. There, is, there isn't any. Um, and it's weird and it's exhausting. Uh, probably eight months ago, maybe a full year ago, we're getting reports from New Zealand about strawberries sending out their springtime runners in the dead of winter. That was the first note that I knew something has changed with the Earth-Sun relationship. Can't make any predictions, give any links, just telling you something isn't right. Uh, so, now I've been working on the fence here, the mule fence, and just yesterday discovered that uh, we have blackberries already. Yeah, blackberries, right. And again, about six weeks early. Now I'm in Battletown, Kentucky now, just near Brandenburg, nice little area. When I was in Lebanon through the winter, an hour and a half east of here, the robins were back a month and a half early. And everybody tried to say it's because of the warm temperatures. The birds don't leave where they are according to temperatures. They leave according to the position of the sun in the sky. I don't want to bring you down here. Blackberries. Already. That one's ripe. There's another one that was ripe here a minute ago that had been eaten by a bug. Evidently the bug has come back before I did and finished his berry. But this is disturbing because with plants developing a month and a half early, something is going to fail. An animal that isn't here yet isn't going to get fed when it normally would. Uh, butterflies that aren't here for certain flowers that are already blooming the butterflies come, there'll be no, and so there'll be no cross-pollination. So next year, those beautiful flowers that came six weeks early, I'm going to have to think, won't come at all. Or if they do, they'll be very sparse. Sure, some got pollinated inadvertently. Everything's relative. But anyway, we need to make note of these, you know, everybody's fighting fussing about the elections and whether you can be gay or not be gay and call yourself a husband and wife. Whit Ron Paul, Mitt Romney, Obama, my balls. Uh, <laughs> and we have, our earth is contorting and twisting. If you haven't been keeping up on the earthquake and volcano situation, you should be. It's a definite uptick not only frequency but size. The earth is changing. Time is changing. I know time is changing. I'm a very consistent person and uh, when, I, when I can't control my sleep patterns and I'm not stressed out, I'm very happy. I have much love and support online, much love and support at home, three great kids. I'm secure. Uh, I don't fear martial law, although I think it's coming and coming soon, I don't fear it at all. Because I got one rule. My rules don't change. The, the political system might. My rules don't change. Harm no one. Give back where you can. Don't be a sheep. And don't put your fucking hands on me. Pretty simple rules. When you do decide to put your hands on me, or think that you're going to, Sometime between when you get that thought and you actually get within reach of me, you will die. 
Um, so anyway, I, you know, I'm not, I don't worry about much. The good Lord provides. Uh, we, we don't live large, but we don't go without. Everybody's healthy, physically active, smart, We've got animals to enjoy. But the earth is changing, folks. Time is changing. And I'm not a big space guy, but um, I do re recommend everybody check out Planet X Research. And truth Seekers, uh, planetxresearch.org. Should give Relic a shout out and the rest of the crew. They understand pace and they've got uh, space, they've got their finger on the pulse of that. Something's changing. And the earth is changing. And I know from school, see back in school when they used to teach you things of value in the public school, remember those days, any of you maybe? They taught us that long ago man was on a 36 hour day. He'd work for 24 and he would sleep for 12. I also heard about us being on a nine month calendar where our time around the sun didn't take as long as what we're used to. Either we're following that pattern or a whole new pattern has been set, but there's no reason for different species of plants to be a month and a half ahead of schedule. Something's going to suffer somewhere. It's great to see them, but it's not going to be great to not see them next year when they're not properly pollinated or whatever else may happen. So anyway, I reached out to uh, someone I know in Maine and asked if they're seeing the same thing and they said they had a really warm winter, things started to bud and then a freeze came and killed it. So they're going to be losing plant life too. So things did start to grow there though. That's the point. They're a lot farther north, brutal winters normally. But all of you, no matter where you are in the country or the world, we got to start documenting this. Look, more blackberries. No, they shouldn't be here. They should not be here. They're all over the place in this area. Well, we'll probably enjoy blackberries early this year, but something tells me we won't enjoy them next year. If it happens to the blackberries and the lilies, what else is it going to uh, affect? Strawberries are a big food. A lot of stuff we rely on. We're going to have to change our growing seasons. Are we going to get two growing seasons? Is there going to be nothing to grow because the water coming from the sky is too radiated from Fukushima. Or are the GMOs doing this? You know what? All of that's irrelevant to me. We're going through a major change. You can see it. It's in your face. You ought to have the natural instincts to know it, because after all, we are an animal probably the, one of the most vicious, vile, and disgusting animals the planet knows. We know things that we don't have to be told. Unless you continue to suck down your fluoride and love it. Suck down your antidepressants because you just can't handle it anymore. Anyway, that's a quick update. You hear the saw running. You see the fence that still needs repair. I'm going to get back to work. Much love to everybody, but please, let's document this. If you're aware of species of plants that are growing and blooming and flowering ahead of time, and you know the history of that and what's normal for your area, make a note in the comments, shoot me an email. This is something we do have to make the public aware of, folks. We got all these 2012 Nibiru is near fear-mongering bastards running around. But something is changing. Something is changing. And it's changing drastically. And everything is relevant. I, I don't care. If I simply cut this flower down, 
something else changes somewhere else for something else. So, anyway, much love. Got to get back to work. Be safe. Take notes. And hang on to your asses. 2012 is going to be hell. <laughs>